We use scientific notation and metric prefixes to help simplify the extremely large and extremely small numbers that we use on a daily basis. The first example of where we encounter this is when talking about storage, where the fundamental unit of storage is the byte, but because storage numbers can be so large, we often talk about storage in the millions or billions of bytes. And because that would overcomplicate the way that we speak, what we have is something called a metric prefix called giga that helps us to understand or helps us to understand the meaning of that representing one billion. So when we see this prefix, an uppercase letter G, what that tells us is that there are one billion of those units. So when we see a storage quoted as 128 gigabytes, what that actually tells us is that the storage is 128 billion bytes, which as you can see is very difficult to write and even more difficult to say. So we abbreviate that to 128 gigabytes. So as soon as we see this uppercase letter G, we know multiply the unit by 1 billion. We can also use scientific notation, which says that that uppercase letter G also represents essentially multiplying by a factor of 1 billion. So we say multiply by 10 nine times or multiply by 1 billion, and that is called scientific notation. Essentially, all that we're doing is we're adding on nine zeros onto the end of this number to represent 128 billion bytes, and we use that to simplify the way that we say our common numbers. Two further common prefixes that we will come across are mega, which represents multiplying by a factor of one million, where this would often come across is when we are talking about cameras, and we say that this is a 40 megapixel camera, where the pixel is the fundamental unit for a camera and so 40 megapixels means actually that there are 40 million pixels per square inch in any photo that that camera can take. Again, where we can write it out as 40 million or we can simplify it to say that those six zeros can be represented by a 10 to the power of six. And similarly, we can say when talking about voltage, because voltages can be so high, the typical voltage for a taser is typically 50 kilovolts, where that lowercase letter K represents a factor of 1000, which means that 50 kilovolts is actually 50,000 volts. And we can write that as 50 times 10 to the power of three to simplify. In much the same way as we have these prefixes that represent or factors that are extremely large, we can also use prefixes to represent incredibly small numbers. The most common ones are milli, micro, and nano, where two that we can't commonly see as well are centi and deci. In this case, instead of multiplying by a factor of 1000 or a million or a billion, we are now dividing by a factor. So when we see a time, for example, that says 60 milliseconds, what that is actually saying is it is 60 divided by 1000 of a second, which we can also then write as 0 0.06 seconds, or we can write that scientifically as 60 times 10 to the power of negative three. The negative sign here tells us that the comma shifts towards the left as this number gets smaller, and similarly, the Greek letter mu represents the prefix micro. And so when we see something that says 70 micrometers, also read as microns, what that says is one millionth of a meter. So this is 70 millionths of a meter, which can be written as 70 over 1 million or dividing by 1 million point zero 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 seven meters, or we can replace those one millionths with a 10 to the power of negative six. And finally, where 70 microns represents the width of a human hair, when we say 540 nanometers is the typical wavelength of green light, we would say that is typically 540 one billionths of a meter, 
which again can be written as 540 times 10 to the negative 9, where we see that these scientific notations represent the same as the prefix. So whether we use the prefix nano, a lowercase letter n, or we say multiply by 10 to the power of negative 9, the meaning remains the same. And it just makes it easier for us to deal with these incredibly large or small numbers.